Hi everyone, Chad Mackin here with Pack the Basics, and I just want to uh, show you this little video demonstrating the difference between a truly slack leash and a partially slack leash. When the leash is truly slack, you should see a little U from the dog's collar going up to the handler, and you can see here that it's not present, and so as a result, uh, the handler is having to work really hard to keep the dog's focus, a lot of body language, a lot of movement, and he's just kind of hanging out at the end of the leash. He's not fighting. He's being obedient, but he's really not mentally with her. Now watch this. She gives him a real you here, and he's great, but watch that left hand. She starts pulling it back, and as she starts pulling that back, he starts kind of checking out a little bit. So uh, this is kind of the importance of having this really uh, nice leash. So I showed her that video, and now she's working him a second time after seeing that video and uh, really focusing on keeping that you. So you can see he's a different dog, and this is what a walk should be with a dog who's doing the right thing. He should not feel any leash pressure until he's uh, being asked to change something. Now watch this, as she turns, he's not gonna let, let that leash get all the way tight. He can actually feel that little change between fully slack and partially slack and respond to it. That's why it's so important, all right? Because it will uh, make a difference to your dog's experience, all right? So when he's in the right place, let him enjoy the slack, all right? Thank you and happy training.